30 Minutes of Umoria, show 17. Hi there. Ah, welcome back. So, let me show you what we're doing here. We are playing Moria. We are journeying to the very bottom of this dungeon to slay the Balrog. This, the 17th show of 30 Minutes of Umoria, is brought to you by the lowercase letter K. The lowercase letter K represents just one creature in Umoria, the kobold. The kobold is usually found around at depths of 50 feet and moves at normal speed. It has an armor rating of 16 and a life rating of 3 die 7. It can open doors. It is a warm-blooded creature, and it is susceptible to frost and to fire. It is fairly observant of intruders, which you may notice from 200 feet away. The kobold may sometimes carry a small object or treasure. It can hit to attack with damage 1 die 6. The kobold. Before we get started, let's check out the Wheel Source Code! And the Wheel of Source Code will pick a random function for us. Let's spin it. Ooh, I see a couple of good functions. Three, two, one, and stop it. Verify. Ah, we got a boring one. I don't know what it does, but it sounds pretty boring. Verify. Moria1.c. 11 lines long. Two parameters and returns an in. Alright. Verify function. Let's have a look. Okay, Christopher J. Stewart wrote this one. Used to verify used to verify if this really is the item we wish to wear or read. Huh. Well, this is kind of vague. <laughs> so there's a prompt, there's some text that will say, do you really want to do this? And then an item. Do you really want to wear item this? And it's not an item type, it's a number of an item in our inventory. So we say item uh, A or zero, right? All right, so here we go to get a description of it and we put it in, in, whoa, object here, yeah, because big V type is actually a string. Yeah, and then we put a question mark on the end of it. And then we put the prompt before the object. And then we run get check, which will say yes or no, accept the yes or no, and return a yes or no. All right, well, that's pretty basic, pretty straightforward. You can see that there's this global variable here called inventory. That is our backpack. It's pretty neat. You see that big V-type is actually a, a, an array of chars. Uh, so that's interesting. We're doing an S printf, not an SN printf on it. That is dangerous, but... What do you do? And uh, yeah, here's the prompt. So let's check our callers. Let's see what kind of prompts they're giving. Well, that one's kind of... I don't see. There you go. There's a replace. Replace this one? Huh, lots of callers. Try this one, it says. Wow, lots of callers. Verify. Let's see who else. Yeah. I guess just Moria1. One. Moria1 one is the only user of this function. So there's prompt. And do we pass in a prompt or do we calculate one? There's the prompt. Wear wield. There's one of them anyway. Drop. Take off. Throw. Everything you can do with one. Do you really want to throw that flask of oil? Yes. 
That is what's going on there. Let's get back to our function here. And there it is, just a short little function doing its thing. The wheel of source code has not let us down. <laughs> All right, and that's that. Let me just uh, take the time to explain a little bit more. Sorry for this. Ah, what we're doing here is uh, we're recording three minute sessions of uh, Moria play. Uh, we started out at level one. We've had oh, maybe 16 shows like this. So that equates to about eight hours of gameplay. One moment. So, uh, yeah, the plan is to document um, the full run, right from the very start, where we create the character. Our character's name is Yisha. She's a female elf evoker. That's a mage. And, um, yeah, we want to record this all the way through to the fight with the Balrog, which is the very final fight. Um, Moria... <clears throat> You Moria 5.6 is a very difficult game to beat, and uh, I don't think anybody has ever recorded an entire session. Now, we're just not recording this with video, we're doing, of course, the screen capture, but also we're capturing a script of, uh, of the Curses uh, uh, program as it runs, Moria, and uh, also we are recording all of the keystrokes as input. And lastly, we're saving a save game per turn for data mining after the fact. So yeah, we're doing a lot here to, to save the entire state of this Moria run. Uh, in roguelike games, you get uh, just uh, one life. So it's a tough game to win. You have to be extra cautious. And that's what we're doing. We're being extra cautious, realizing when we're in danger, and taking evasive steps when that happens. Meanwhile, we're progressing on. We're at level 17, which is really good. Uh, that being said, we're nowhere near what we have to be to take on the Balrog. We can proceed down to the dungeon at any pace we like, at our own peril. And that's the joy of the game. It's very well balanced. So, um, while I was talking there, we were resting. And the reason we're resting is to uh, change up the items in the store. Uh, the stores are on the top level, we're at 50 feet. So, let's just uh, put on our light source here. And now we go stair hunting to go back upstairs. Where are those stairs at? Whoa, we got a kobold out of us and some rats or something that is breeding really fast. So, um, wow, what a busy 50 foot level here. This is crazy. And here's some stairs over here on our left, but they are downstairs, not upstairs. All right, looking for stairs. Hmm. It's just me or this 50 foot death actually kind of difficult. Yeah, we'll pit. Ah, well, we're. Ah, what the heck? Ugh. Ugh. This sucks. All right, where is, there I see stairs, thank goodness. But we're going in the wrong direction. This is a difficult, difficult level. 
Can you imagine if we started out at this level? Being level one? I can't. So, the reason why we were sleeping down there, because we want a, a Restore Strength potion and a Restore Wisdom potion. We desperately need both. Restore Strength, but no Restore Wisdom. We've been looking for that Restore Wisdom for a while. It's a good thing we have a lot of dough. But not for long, once we start buying these things. Haggling? Okay, we have it. Alright, we can now move under the weight of our pack. Very nice. Now let's get rid of those uh, weights over there. Set go into our options by hitting equals. Show weights in inventory, and no. And we're out. There we go, that's better. So, um, maybe this spot over here has a Restore Wisdom. No, sir. Darn it all. So, uh, let's take a look at our pack here. We have, of course, the four books of magic. We can't use the final book, I don't think. No. Um, we have a lot of different items. We need to get rid of some. Like Super Heroism Potion. We'll never use that. And it's just money. Scroll of Identify, can we use it on anything we own? Nope. No, sir. Well, now what? Let's clean up the town. Sell. Slow monster. Don't eat it. Sell. Sell that ring. Say 500. <sighs> 200. Cool. We also need to purchase some uh, scrolls of Word of Recall to get up and down, or down and up from the dungeon. <coughs> dungeon, excuse me. Delilah the Pure is selling this to us. Half elf. There is one. There's two. Now what? Uh, we can eat, I suppose. Except now that we're bloated. That's no good. Fill up our lamp. Buy some more food. But there are, there is none. We have enough flasks of oil. Nothing special here. Nothing to sell either. Nothing special in the armory. Could use some boots. But none of the boots are better than the ones we already have. So, who's this guy? Hey, we sped up. Just for kicks, we're going to buy a Restore Constitution Potion right now and save it. And now, we're going to go down into the dungeon. Scroll of Word of Recall will 
eventually take us down into a dungeon after a few turns. A random number of turns at that. Du, du, du. Here we go. Here we are. All right. 400 feet. Mushroom of Confusion. About 300 more experience points to go until we hit the next experience level. All right. What's that? Neutralize poison. Don't need it. Wow, now this priest. He's out of his depth. All right. Another cap. We have what on our head? A metal cap. Is this better? Let's find out. Heck no, it's damned. Drop it. We need that, like we need a kick in the teeth. I said it. So, moving on. There's another room. An all pike and an empty bottle. Let's look at that all pike. One die eight. One die eight. We are casting identify. Over and over again. All pike. It is not magical. Oops. Whoa, you mouse slip or something. There's a trap. There's some stairs. We're not looking for stairs. Here's some um, something in the wall. We'll, we'll tunnel for it. There's some rubble. We'll just cast that away with our stone to mud spell. All right, 400 feet. Not doing bad. Except for now. Our health was damaged, and it's a good thing we bought that potion. Because that is what we need right now. But I'm not going to use it yet. Let's get out of the center. We're trying to stay along the outer edges. We have a ring. Look at that. It's a ring. A potion of ink for a vision. Ring of stupidity. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that at all. Moving on. What's that? Broken stick. Who needs it? Blue yeek. Firebolt. Resting. Ah, we need a pair of boots. Let's hope they're not cursed. Uh, where? Okay, we're gonna put these boots on and we're gonna watch our AC, our armor class. We have an AC of 20 down there on the stat side. You can see that. And now uh, wearing these. Oh, oops, it feels deathly cold. Wow. So now we need to remove curse. And I guess we've already learned that spell because I don't see it. a uh, list of spells we can learn. There it is. Remove curse. There you go. Now, what are we dealing with here exactly? What do these boots look like? Wow. And this is uh, one of the first cool uh, items we've gotten. Hard leather boots of noise. So we're walking around with symbols on our feet, waking up all the monsters. And it gives us zero AC. Plus three, comma, minus three, equals zero. Let's put on our other boots, shall we? Drop those. All right, moving on. That was interesting. Turn on the lights. Let's go. Oh, 
What's the next room going to have in it? Maybe a ring. Maybe a scroll. Oh, we need that one. That is handy. Mushroom of Confusion, they can keep it. You pick one up once and threw it at another monster. It seemed to work. Bash that door down. All right, moving on, moving on. Keep up the pace here. Seedy looking human. He would not mind stealing something from us, being all seedy, seedy looking. Anyway. Oh dear. You know what? We came down to 400 feet because of a trapdoor. And now we're going down to 450 because of a trapdoor. This is unexpected. And we've uh, landed with damage, so we're going to rest. Now we're going to turn on the lights and see what's here. Nothing that we can see. And we're in near the middle, so let's get to the outside of the board of the level. Turn on these lights. Pretty little gnome. Hey, hey, we found our, our second special item. How about that? This is a cat of nine tails, one die four. Doesn't hit very much. But, it has slay animal capability. S-A has a plus three to hit bonus and a plus two damage bonus. So, let's drop our shovel. We don't need to use a shovel anymore. There's a shovel, so we're going to take it off. Now we're going to drop it, drop the shovel. And we're going to wield this cat of nine tails. Plus two to hit, plus two to damage, plus two to AC for something else. So yeah, that's pretty good. I want to try it out. Our other weapon is, uh, where is it say, spare weapon. Two die four plus one. So we dial a four. Um, and we add two. We get up to six. Best of six. But with Slay Animal, I think there's a multiplier there. So it'll really work a lot better with, uh, against animals. We are going to try it out on the next animal we see. Is that E an animal? I don't know. Let's wait for something else. Disarm. Where are we here? Lights. Plus key thing. Here we go. This is it. I'm gonna think it's an animal. Here we go. And attack with the cat o nine tails. You hit it. It breathes on you. Ugh, let's just kill it. Son of a What do you wreck? Goblins. Ah, well. There's more where that came from. Do you think we should get off this level? Too dangerous, maybe? Or do you think this is safe? I don't know, we're pretty strained here. We keep running out of uh, mana. Okay, we did a loop. All right. Stinking cloud, both. A brigand, we gotta hit him with force. 
that he will steal our books, just like the greedy little gnome did way back when. This, the very first thing we ever found, uh, the, the good uh, best weapon we found was a flame tongue, and we sold it in the stores. Couldn't believe it. I hung my head in shame, I covered my face. So bad. Shameful to sell to us such a good weapon. They happen just so rarely that it's a shameful thing. But now we've been rewarded with our patience. Moving on. Ring of Adornment. Super Kobold here. Drop. Look. All right. We are 130 away from the next level. Harpies move so fast. So fast. It's a good thing they don't have a lot of uh, hit points. A Yeti. We've never seen a Yeti. Yeti is susceptible to fire, I remember that. Great. Oi. White jelly, eh? Got him. Moving on. Oh, yeeks. Yeeky. Yeah, we won't need that shovel anymore. We can just cast spells to get rid of mud and rock to stone and stuff. Wow, we're having a tough time with this guy. can use our uh, our cat and nine tails on them. Bam! 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 We hit him every time. Yeah, took four shots. Lights on. Lights on. I guess we're not in a room. This looks like we're at the start of a room. Turn it all. Let the bandit get a hit on us there. It's not good. He could have stolen something. Three hits only. Let's see what's the deal with this leather armor. Maybe it'll be special leather armor. Nothing special about it. Certainly not better than what we already have. So, where do we have left to go here? The whole right side, all right. Undead things are usually susceptible to fire, so I hit him with a fire bolt. And we're in a special room. Wow. Work shaman. Close the door. The door appears to be broken. King Cobra, he can actually make us uh, 
blind. Ah, cure blindness. Didn't I eat it? I'm confused. I just ate the cure blindness thing and nothing happened. Take a look at our hit points here. Ah. It's a bit dangerous. We're low on mana. We're kind of low on hit points. Um, we do have a critical wounds, uh, cure critical wounds potion. Just keep hitting them. Huh, we weren't even aiming at him. There, you got him. We're still poisoned, so look out. Cure poison. Let's uh, quaff this critical wounds. There, we're better. Thank goodness. That was actually a little bit scary. A little bit scary there. Don't need that saber. So you kind of have to get used to these special rooms, what they look like. And uh, you'll kind of sense that things look a little symmetrical, so... And if the lights are off, you can turn the lights on because you realize you're in a special room. I haven't seen too, too many special rooms. Eat this mushroom of cure confusion. That's why we have it. I don't know if you noticed, but we actually leveled up there at some point. I didn't notice when. Maybe when we killed that King Cobra, eh? Um, let's take a look at our new stats. Let's get to another room first. Huh. New stats. Here's Yisha. Level 18, we leveled up. Alright, and we have about a thousand, a thousand experience points to go till the next level. Let's, uh, let's see what else we can do here. Looking for access to the, the southeast quadrant here. I don't see a way over there. Maybe there isn't one, huh. All right, um, what do we do now? I guess we could go back up to the store. Just uh, check out our... Wow. This is not doing us any good. Well, we're going to call our Word of Recall spell. Start walking. Once we get enough for a Firebolt, we'll hit him. Nine is what we need, and we didn't get that far. All right, we do have the Restore Constitution potion. That was yummy. Now the Wisdom. Son of a... Bah. Still nothing there. Restore Wisdom, I see it. There it is. Thank goodness, Delilah the Pure has what we need. Uh, and uh, 
Here we go, restore wisdom. Oh, that feels better. Look at that. At long last. Did she have any more of those wisdom potions? No. I had to stock up on those. We do need another um, word of recall spell. That sound you heard is the five minute sound. It means we've been at it for five uh, for twenty five minutes. Okay, there's that. Um, we could use some boots and some gauntlets. Any good gauntlets? Of course not. Any good boots? Nope. Nothing real special there to buy either. How about weapons? No special weapons. I'm not a fast reader, uh, I just look at the prices to see if there's anything crazy on the price list. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, fill up our lamp. We don't eat very often because we have two, we count them, two slow digestion items. Do need some oil. There you go. Can't hurt to fill it right up. All right. What else? Anything else here? Scroll of identity, identify. Should really use that identify scroll. All right. I think that is it for this time. We've done all we need to do. We have uh, two scrolls for next time. It'll take us down to 450. One thing we didn't check. Uh, can we have any, do we have any new spells that uh, the 18, 18th level mage, a conjurer, can uh, use? Let's check. No, sir. The level, highest level we see is 13. Maybe on the next level. Perhaps. Until then, see you next time. Happy Hack and slashing. <laughs> bye bye.